Hi, I'm Margaret Quirk, Mayor of Georgina. At our July 15th Council meeting, Fire Chief Ron Jenkins provided an update from the Emergency Operations Centre, the EOC. They have been working on a process to safely reopen additional amenities, including our beaches and waterfront parks. They have been in touch with other lakefront communities to learn what has worked in their reopenings and, frankly, what hasn't worked. Staff have taken that information and the EOC has developed a plan to reopen De La Salle Beach and Waterfront Park on July 20th. There will be restrictions and reduced capacity that I will outline later in this statement. All other beaches and waterfront parks will remain closed at this time. By opening one beach, we can determine if the rules will be respected and followed. If we are satisfied that the safety precautions we have implemented are being followed, we may consider reopening other beaches in the future. The reopening plan has De La Salle being operated with an event management focus. There will be staff monitoring the beach and park areas, controlling access to the beach, keeping track of the numbers of people in the park, and controlling parking. A traffic management plan has also been established to support traffic flow in the area. Let me stress that reopening this one beach does not mean it's back to the beach as usual. The beach and park will be open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily. Painted social circles on the park grass will assist users to maintain physical distancing, and physical distancing will also be required on the sand and in the water. Park capacity will be monitored, and once it has reached the maximum safe capacity, further access into the park will be restricted. The beach area will be for active recreation use with swimming and water activities only. Visitors will not be able to sit or lounge on the beach, but can do so in the park. We encourage beach users to enjoy the water and share the area responsibly and respectfully with other users. Coolers, chairs, umbrellas and canopies will not be allowed on the beach but can be used in the park. Barbecues will not be allowed in the park or on the beach. The EOC has consulted with public health officials on how to safely reopen. We are moving forward with reopening this one beach but trust me, if we don't receive compliance, we will shut it down. On weekends, Police officers will be on site to monitor and support town staff where needed and assist with traffic control. The parking lot on Lake Drive by the chapel will be only for those with town-issued residence parking passes. The parking lot on Metro Road will have reduced capacity and will also be available to residents with parking passes and for general parking. Residents are reminded to obtain their 2020 resident parking pass and you can do so online at georgina.ca backslash parking pass. In the interim, the town will continue to accept the 2019 resident parking passes. Once the parking lots reach capacity, they will be closed, and they will only reopen when there is at least 50% of the spaces available. Traffic will be moved along and not permitted to wait for a space. For residents who walk to the beach, entry points will be at the Lake Drive or through the main entrance at Metro Road. Please remember that once capacity is reached, the park will be closed to any additional guests, either by car or walking to ensure physical distancing is maintained. The public washrooms will be open in the park in addition to porter potties. And now I know that some residents may not be happy to see this beach reopen. Others want all of our beaches to be open. And let me be very clear. If compliance with the rules and restrictions is not obtained, we will shut this beach down. I'm confident staff have put together a plan that will work. The behavior of those that come to the beach will determine if this beach stays open or will be closed again. So please follow the rules as outlined. Be kind and respectful to staff and others using the beach. Let's work together to ensure our first beach reopening is successful. For the latest information on COVID-19 in Georgina, visit georgina.ca backslash COVID-19. Thank you.